This video tutorial is intended to help you best utilize your images you can pull from your PC to enhance your learning and maybe more importantly help your studying process. The directions for all of these will be very similar for a Mac, uh, but one of the uh, bonuses for overpaying for a Mac is that you can call their customer service, I guess, if you have issues, so take it up with them. So you can see I have three windows open here, uh, Google Images, in which I have uh, already typed in a search for DNA. I have a Word document, Word, some kind of word processing software. And then I've also opened up my image editing software, which is just uh, Microsoft Paint, which can be found on your Start menu through the Accessories folder. So uh, here's our images for DNA. We can kind of glance at them and see kind of their size down here. You're, you're usually looking for something, you know, around three or four hundred. Uh, would be good for uh, use on a Word document or something. Uh, too much bigger, you're going to have to shrink it down. Too much smaller, if you try to uh, zoom in or blow up the image, you're going to lose some of the resolution. So, in any one of these images uh, is going to work pretty good. So, I'm going to click on it, left click on it, right click here when I get there. I'm going to click on Copy Image, and then uh, head over to my uh, image editor and just hit Paste uh, through, the f through the menu or just hit Control V. And so there it is. And f from here, you can uh, get rid of stuff by erasing it or add to it by uh, just writing it in or labeling it somehow. If you want to label this thing for whatever reason, it's uh, missing a label that you uh, felt was important. Putting stuff in with text that uh, at this point is a little bit too big. So we can just... Uh, label it how we want. This is uh, DNA. If I could only type. So, uh, just to kind of give an idea of uh, just kind of some basic uh, functions that, again, just might help for uh, help you study or help you learn for any class that is uh, helpful to have images as part of the uh, learning process. So, I'm going to uh, highlight this using the select tool and uh, hit control C to copy it, control V to paste it into my Word document and from there I can kind of do a bunch of things with it but just to kind of give you an idea of, of uh, how to quickly go through and use some uh, just some simple steps to improve your uh, studying probably. Uh, so there you go, part of just uh, putting it onto a Word document. Uh, going back to my uh, my image results, some things you want to watch out for are uh, certain file types that really don't cooperate. Anything with a GIF ending or a JPG ending are uh, pretty good, so these are all just GIF files. But you can see some of these other ones are uh, JPG, if I could only find one, which is just a JPEG. It's, it was a pretty good, another pretty good file type, JPG, there you go. Uh, something you just want to watch out for are uh, things from Wikipedia and the file that they use is a PNG and uh, just something that you'll notice if you go to copy this and paste it to your image editor it just comes up kind of black and sometimes completely black so uh, you probably want to just avoid things from Wikipedia although there's a way around that and that's kind of the next uh, step in this process that I wanted to go through. You should have on your keyboard whether it's a laptop or a desktop you should have a print screen button located in the upper right somewhere by the number pad or on a laptop just in the uh, probably the top row of buttons maybe abbreviated PRT space SC as mine is if you hit that button it's not really going to look like it did anything but what it did is took a picture of your screen and then I can go to my image editor and just hit control V to paste it and there's my whole entire screen, which obviously is probably more than the information that we, that we want, but I can go to my select tool and left click just to highlight that. And uh, so now I have this image all by itself. I can control C or control X, either one, just to kind of store that in the, on the clipboard. I'll control C. It's going to erase, but that's fine because I'm actually going to hit control A to select all and then delete by just hitting the delete button so everything's gone and then I can bring back that image that I highlighted or selected by using the control V again 
and there it is. So even though this is an image that, you know, even this is from Wikipedia, uh, not sometimes not a really friendly image, but there you go. I can hit the print screen. I can also use that for um, basically any uh, anything on my computer. I can I can go back to Google, you know, and maybe if I wanted to, you know, instead of individually clicking on all of these items, I could again just hit my print screen. And now I have all of those pictures all in one spot. So again, just anything that's uh, on your screen, you can capture using that button and paste it. And then from your image editing software, you can kind of do whatever you want with that.